My ties to the Ukrainian Institute date back to the late 1950s when, with a group of students, I used to visit this magnificent, unusually beautiful place. The strongest image in my memory of those days is the Institute's first director, Dr. Julian Revai, an eminent educator and a prominent figure in the uh, Transcarpathian Ukrainian Republic. He was a gentleman with impeccable manners and distinct Euro European charm, but knew how to be strong and assertive when the situation demanded it. On one occasion, when an invited speaker from a well-known Ivy League college used offensive language in reference to a prominent Ukrainian political leader whose portrait was on the walls of the Ukrainian Institute, the usually soft-spoken director very politely but firmly reminded the ill-mannered lecturer of academic decorum and tact. My student days are over, but my ties to the Ukrainian Institute continue. Today, I interact primarily through the Shevchenko Scientific Society and the Ukrainian Academy of Arts and Sciences. One of the most successful events that we co-sponsored with the Institute was the commemoration of the proclamation of Ukraine's independence, 100th uh, proclamation of independence in 1918. On this occasion, I'd like to congratulate the Institute and thank it for its contribution to the advancement and enrichment of Ukrainian academic pers pursuits, and especially congratulate the present leadership for finding ways to keep us socially alive and therefore happy. Today's gala is the best example of the continuing inventiveness and vitality of the Institute. So congratulations once again, and let us celebrate.